Welcome so back to a brand new video. This is a review of this, but first I have something to do. Tokyo Los Amarinos! Alright, we got a little setup here, obviously. As you can see here, we'll, we are reviewing this. Which, if you cannot tell, is a, a Beyblade. Beyblade. Why a defense? But it's bolted down. This is not a traditional Beyblade. As you can see, this face ball doesn't come out. It's not a burst. It's a Metal Masters. I won't or whatever, Metal Fury, whatever, whatever this came from, it's from the Metal Saga. I want to list that now, say that now. I want someone to go watch Beyblade burst me like, where's this guy? Anyways, this is a Beyblade, as you can see, but it's not a normal Beyblade. This part right here is plastic, actually. The only metal I can find is, I think, slightly right here, and then on the inside, like, springs and stuff, because of this little gimmick. And I'm pretty sure this was not Takara told me. I'm pretty sure they only did this with Hasbro. So, see these little orange spikes? Say it's been into the right, something's supposed to hit it, and then those pop out. And it just keeps spinning to the right. If you spin it to the left, well, well, let me show you. You can not hit the spikes the right way. So, you cannot left spin it, even though you can actually left spin it with the left launcher. I can do that. But anyways, this is... Basalt Herogium, uh, this is Stealth Battlers, Basalt Herogium, with the little hammer looking things or whatever. Wide defensive, even though that's kind of redundant because this is like, uses a lot of lean, but this right here is so wide right at the tip, where, where the tip is, when it leans it's just going to scrape. So, let's test this out. Right here I have a Cyclone Stadium with launchers and stuff in it. We're going to be taking this right launcher, a bunch of stickers on it, and we're going to be taking this Stealth Battler, and Basol Herogium, and that was not an usual click because this is modified. And he, he spins pretty good, honestly. The only problem is, you got to hit him right. Those pop out, and, the, and this is actually, these things, I used to have um, two other Stealth Battlers when I was little. They sucked. But saw Herogium here, his hammer say he's spinning the right, that's the only way to get his hammer to deploy. Someone comes and hits him and then like messes up his whole spin. And then the other two, Hades Kirbex and Pegasus Jumper, Hades Kirbex had the same issue because it was three giant spikes, even bigger than these, and Pegasus Jumper just jumped up and stopped spinning. Anyways, let's test him out. Um here I have my soul Hades. B D or G B one forty five W D. I'm gonna spin him in. Is it oh yeah, I forgot he's bad with this stadium if I spin him too fast. I'm spinning a little slow. And Well, that happened. Let's go again. Not even gonna respin him, just throw him in there like that. I mean Yeah, he his spikes pop out almost in, First time he makes contact, but they mess him up so much, especially in a high up stadium like this where the it's curved up high. Like you would not want to use this in a Oh that actually knocked him out. But did you see how quick it stopped spinning? Is that chipped plastic in there? Give me a sec. It was just like mint dust for some reason. Like from a peppermint or something, I don't know. And as I said before, he can spin left. Here's a left launcher with this <laughs> I this the ripcord broke so I've had to build it back together and put gorilla glue over it right there. Anyways, he can left spin. But no matter what, the spikes won't come out when he's left spinning. Come on, make contact. See? No matter what, spikes won't come out. And because he's plastic, he's so light, he sucks at battling. Would you look at that? Who would have guessed it? Anyways, guys, this was the Basalt Horogium Stealth Battlers. It is very, very bad at what it's supposed to be, a Beyblade. It is terrible. It's gimmicky when you could get a normal Basalt Horogium for less price, and it would be way, way better. But this, this is trash. Don't waste your money on this. This is like 40 bucks on Amazon right now. Don't, don't buy it. Or if you want to, if you like little gimmicky toys like this, I guess you could. But there's not much to it. 
Anyways, uh, if you enjoyed the video, comment, like, share, and subscribe, and come back for more next time.